Patrick, welcome here to Open Knowledge Festival here in Berlin. Thank you so much for coming. So tell me, sort of, what you know, what have you enjoyed about the festival so far? What's been good? Uh, what have I enjoyed about, about the festival? I think I really enjoyed uh, giving the keynote. I was was very privileged to be able to do that, um, and not talking about myself, but but I think it was uh, from the feedback I got helpful um, that I was tying the need for information to the use of information, what you can do with it, the levers you can pull with information, and tying that to real stories, uh, which I was able to show. So, so that I personally enjoyed, which I probably shouldn't say. I, oh, yeah. I, I thought that was good. And, and, and I was really pleased after that with talking to so many people who came to offer help to, you know, to talk about similar issues, to talk about things they were doing. Um, and, and beyond all that, for me, I've just met a whole bunch of people I haven't met before, which is really refreshing. Um, the atmosphere has been fantastic. I'm learning an awful lot, and, and I'm going to go away with some new friends, some new contacts, and, and a lot more work to do, so okay. that's cool. That's cool. I mean, are there any specific examples of connections or ideas that have been triggered by, by, by people here? Are there groups you would prob might not have met, or, or so on? I mean, for example, I talked earlier with someone who was saying they were interested in elections, and they've met you know, 10 new groups they actually didn't know exist, even though they've done quite a bit. Is there anything, anything like that where you've met interesting new people or groups that you weren't aware of or anything like that? Yeah, a bit of both. Um, I was approached by a guy I didn't know, but I, I know of the organization, My Society, who said, you know, maybe they could use their kind of web models to help uh, communicate our work. That's something we can follow up on. Um, and some people from a particular country of interest to us who said, you know, they're not, they're not working on our issues, yeah. but they said in, in their data scraping, they may well find something that is useful to us. You know, would, shall we talk? Um, so that's been really helpful, um, and um, talking to people from Open Knowledge in Greece, which is a country I'm, I'm personally interested in, uh, especially with the crisis, the links uh, between that crisis and corruption, yeah. um, and those kind of issues. So there's a whole, you know, and as I say, this, this is a community that I'm not personally that familiar with, and it's very refreshing um, and useful to, to meet these Great. people. And see, my thing I was going to lead in is tell us a little bit the, the kind of work you were saying, this connection of information to action, so examples, you talked a little bit in your keynote, but the kind of stuff that Global Witness has been doing now for 20 years. Um, what do you see, you mentioned some of them, but you've obviously not seen a lot of progress. I mean, digital technology has helped your work, but mm -hmm. you also there are risks and threats to it that you're seeing at the present. What kind of things are you particularly worried about coming up that are actually going to make it harder to do the kind of information activism, if you let me call it that, that you guys do? Yeah, I, I think that, that some of the risks are the ones that we've always experienced, whether that's you know, libel or physical risk or whatever. But, but I think one that's particularly pertinent to the situation we're in now uh, is that there's um, a complaint made against Global Witness to the uh, Information Commissioner, the guy who uh, polices, if you like, the Data Protection Act in the UK. Uh, that act was designed to protect individuals um, and, and, the, and the information relating to individuals, but it's being used by a, a multi-billion dollar corporation or rather some individuals within it uh, to try and find out what we know about people within that organization. Uh, we're citing a journalistic defense. You know, it's, it's a basic principle of free speech and public interest reporting. Um, but that's ongoing. And if we lose that case, and, and I hasten to add we shall fight it as far as we can fight it, um, then that has real implications for anyone who's getting, obtaining data on, on individuals, certainly in the UK context. I think that's something that just strikes me is obviously we're very excited at Open Knowledge about the power of technology, about the fact that we can freely share digital information. But it is at this point that there's kind of an arms race, if you like. Digital technology empowers the slightly powerless or the, the, the poor and the dispossessed, but it also empowers the powerful and the rich and so on. And it's a question of how we can most effectively use these technologies, techniques, and collaborations, if you like, on the, on the good side rather than the less good side. And that's a, that's a good question. I mean, ultimately, I suppose, are you optimistic or pessimistic on that front? I think I'm pretty optimistic in the sense that, and, and I really get that sense here, um, that, you know, perhaps, as, as you said earlier on, that, that there's maybe the beginnings of a movement here. That this is it's an ideology almost, getting information out there. And I think it's very hard to stop ideologies. Um, and that, I think, is, is really powerful. I, I think that a lot of the, the conversations we had this morning in the keynotes uh, relating to copyright, relating to internet freedom, um, again, is very powerful. Because if people um, 
pressure their politicians pre you know, in their own countries at the EU or whatever to keep stuff open. That, that's really, really necessary. It's not just getting the information. You need to preserve the right, right. to do it. And, and I think the, the other point, as you were saying, is the, the use of information by you know, the dark forces or, or, or whatever it is. I, I think that's problematic. You know, they have as much right as anyone else to yeah. information. Um, and we need to be very careful how we, uh, and strategic about how we react to that. And, and the final thing I'd say... Um, is that, as, as I mentioned in my keynote, for, for, for those of us who want information in the open, there are many, many people who don't. Yeah. Um, and I think that it's a challenge that's surmountable. That's right. just a, a, a war of attrition. But the good news is that you are an optimist. I think on that note, it's a great place to end. Thank you so much for coming to Open Knowledge First Crystal. I hope you'll come back, whether as a speaker or not, in future years and have as much fun, your colleagues. So, but thank you so much. It's thank been you. great to have you here. Thank you, Rufus. It's been great.